Aston Villa versus Chelsea. Chelsea going well in the upper echelons of the league. Villa hoping to get into those end of season playoffs, just hovering outside them at the moment, and we are off and running. Villa hoping to bounce back for a defeat against Spurs in the Premier League Cup, but it's Chelsea with an early attack. The flag is raised against David Washington, who just strayed offside there, but the Londoners making a bright start, Brian. Oh, that was really lively, yes. I mean, it was a good one-touch passing. Um, and the move the weekend alongside Kane Kessler Hayden and Tim Robinham. There is a, a pathway there. Here come Villanelle. Good skill from Jimbo Aloba. Gets the shot away, driven in along the turf. That was rapid from Villa down the left hand side. Patterson, such a good option when he gets forward. Jimbo Aloba rifled in the shot, but the keeper made a comfortable save. Yeah, good, good link up play by the two boys on the left hand side there. Both of them did really, really well. Aston Row gathers the ball and looks upfield with intent, slides the pass for Caden Young who gets the batter of Sturge, Young with an early ball in towards that at half time, stay tuned for that as Sturge now looks to get the batter of Rowe, plays it in for Washington who I think was trying to cross it. I say, you know, the way they play, it's, it's very similar to the first team, isn't it? You know, there's time, time, looking for the correct pass, looking for the right time to speed things up. Here come Chelsea now, looking to get the deadlock breaker. It's a clever little chip there, and it is the opening goal of the game. Really well taken by Dujuan Richards. Silcott Dubry involved in the build-up, and it's the Chelsea number 11 who opens the scoring. Uh, Delightful little dink there over James Wright, who came out to try and narrow the angle. But it's the visitors who seized the initiative. Ball slotted forward. He waited, drew the keeper and lifted it over him. Dejuan Richards with the first goal of the game. Villa nil, Chelsea won. Yeah, it's a good finish, isn't it? Um, perhaps just caught a little bit, napping a little bit there. The young left back, I think. He, uh, if you look at it, he's behind there. Is, oh, no, it, yeah, it's Lamar Bogard, isn't it? it? Just really, just perhaps a wide... Content to stroke it all the way back for Kurd. Floats it. Route one. Richards is away again, looking for a second goal of the game and scoring. It's two for Chelsea. And that was simple through the middle. Kurd launched it long, bounced favourably for Richards, who sprinted after it, and he's been unstoppable so far in this game in the opening quarter of it sprinted upfield set himself again and then just crashed it low and true past James Wright and they have breathing space it's a double from Dejuan Richards yeah. as the Villa nil Chelsea team yeah they'll be disappointed it's one ball cutting through everybody I mean the pace of this lad is is quite uh, it's quite exciting to say to be honest but I think the centre-backs have got a hard job against the strikers but again you look at it and you think well you know, one long ball has beaten the whole team. Golding for the danger man Richards. He wants the match ball. Already. Not even half an hour in as that one is blazed. Wide counter with Jamal Dean. Jim Oaloba tries the chip. Caden Young's away here. Takes on Samuel Smith who goes over. Lunges him with a challenge. A fair one. Disappointing for Villa. 12 for Villa. Find themselves two behind. And now Sturge, opposed by Tristan Rowe. Sturge seemed to be maybe caught into my Smith. Sturge wants the pass, but he's pushed it to Silcott Dubery. And now Washington takes it up. Washington manoeuvred it, trying to wriggle away Achimpong. And now it's Richards. It's been a threat all game long as Richards. And now Washington, what a hit that is, and he crashes it against the crossbar. Remarkable pace generated on the ball there by the Chelsea striker, who thought he'd made it 3-0. Wright was beaten, but he clatters one again. Couldn't have connected better, maybe connected too well in the end. Here come Villa now, Kellyman's won it back brilliantly, slides the pass, Kobe Moore, this could be the chance for Villa. Moore pivots well, gets the shot away, and it's deflected into the path of... Teddy Kerr who makes the save that was really good work by yeah. Kellyman and then Kobe Moore but no goal for Villa that yeah. might just give them some confidence going into the rest well, of the game a little press wasn't it it's the first time Kellyman's been right up show themselves Jim Loba, good layoff Borland and now Patterson rapid Patterson gets the shot away and it's a good one brilliant save by Kerr Villa have been exceptional in the last five minutes or so really attacking with menace and with threat and Patterson thought he picked out the top corner, but Kurd was watchful 
and Agile, a very good save. Yeah, belief in going forward. I think that's the, that is the way forward for the team. Pressurising their back players. That's they had in the rest of the half. Here's Alcott, left wing, right boot, header down by Maury Letwell. He seems to have judged the fight perfectly. He couldn't get the connection he wanted. He was being marked, but Moore, I think a player of his striking prowess will be disappointed he didn't score there. It was nicely curved over. Good delivery and Moore, I think when it came to all, isn't he? With those long ones, I mean, he did score. His second goal came from a curved clearance, didn't it? There is the half-time whistle. Chelsea two 0 up at the break. Two early goals, both from the same player, Dejuan Richards. Washington hit the bar for Chelsea as well. But Villa had their best opportunities right at the end of the half. They did Aaron Wilson. So it'll be really interesting to see how it shapes up with Wilson. Obviously, he's a goal getter. He's done so well for Chelsea. Rearguard Bogard, I think, will enjoy playing in the midfield area. And he's played a good pass here for oh. Wilson. Oh, I thought he was going to try and get the shot away. Took the extra touch, and it time to come to the, to get your mentality right. Here's the ball forward now for Wilson by Rowe, who galloped in field, didn't he? Just to knock it for Young. Is he going to have a go at Sturge again? Young, excellent ball! Oh, it's over the bar, what a golden chance for Rory Wilson. Villa will not get a better opportunity than that, you wouldn't think. Great wing work by Young, down the right, clipped it over, perfect delivery. Wilson, you would have backed him to yeah. score nine <laughs> times out of ten. Yeah. I know he's a young player, but he's prolific for the yeah. under-18s. He scored for the 21s, he couldn't keep it down. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I, I think he did a little bit the thing. Hang on a sec, they know that Villa are going to have a go at them. There's Patterson, Borland tries it first time. That was a difficult technique, actually. Side-footed from what? 20, 25 yards. But um, where are you going to be? So um, Rowe Wilson's in again. He's making two great runs here. Wilson with the cutback, great chance. Villa, and oh, it's no. wide this time from Kyrie Pierre. Wilson was unselfish there. He'd been forced out wide. He elected to slot it for fellow sub Pierre, who stabs it. Adjacent chance after chance for Villa either side of half time. Somehow they haven't scored, they've done everything but put the ball. And they genuinely come out here playing, well, I wouldn't say a lot better, but they're, they're certainly playing differently. Here comes Chelsea now with Washington. Washington gets past Katsukunya, but uh, the challenge comes in. That's good defensive work. He's yeah. still going for it. Rowe onto his right, onto his left. He just couldn't get the cross in. And now Young does turn it in, but away on the half volley and here come Chelsea again it's two on two for them and now Dejuan Richards up against Swinkles it's really tough for Swinkles who's just come back from a layoff to deal with Richards but he does do so Richards gets the shot away good save boys but you can't you can't criticize them for this opening phase of this second half they've done really well action palm for Hughes Hughes cuts it back Dejuan Richards good chance that for his third and then the follow-up shot is racing forward with intent row Slides it for Bogard, lovely work, great balance from Lamar Bogard. Angles the pass for Pierre. Oh, oh and Young was there, oh. maybe one too many passes there in that. They lit their lips, don't they, when they get it on the yeah. counter with yeah. Jujuan Richards. I mean, he's some player and he goes again at swing calls. It's a really interesting tussle that between these two. Jujuan Richards unselfishly plays the pass and it's three for Chelsea with Washington slotting home and they have further breathing space Dejuan Richards scored two in the first half this time he has an assist he's been lethal on the counter-attack he really has played a simple pass and it was an easy task for Washington to direct his shot past right Villa nil Chelsea three yeah you see that so many times in in the modern game you know where you you put had two or three little half chances at, the, at what 15 seconds before they've scored if 10 seconds maybe you know we've, we've one little pass that just goes astray and they deserve a goal here's Caden Young maybe it'll come here Young with Pierre to his left Young will he go all the way gets into the box squeezes the shot away but not letting it take you too far pushing you above where you think you should be. the Chelsea subs are getting involved here they want a fourth goal and maybe they'll get it the shot wide I think he got a touch, did he? I'm not sure. No, he's uh, pulled the trigger and hammered it wide as Donald McNeely, who's just come on the pitch, his first involved. It, it, it happens. Um, his opposite counterpart on the right wing has had a, lo a lot to do in the game. Caden Young oh, goes for a blockbuster. Great. Very important part and part of the game. 
Yeah, sometimes you find out more about someone's character in a losing position than, than in a winning one. And here's Caden Young with a good run forward. Excellent drive, but saved by the legs of Taddy Kerr, who's produced some good pieces of goalkeeping, actually, in this game. It'd be some clean sheet if he keeps it. Caden Young has been excellent in this second half. First down the right, and now down the left, he's causing all sorts well, of problems. I thought, he was in the I thought he was in the game a lot in the first half as well. You know, he's, he, on this right-hand side, he, he looked really well. So he's... he's He's one of them who, you know, I'm not saying he, he will be still disappointed about the game and the result, but... I well, it's Borland on dead ball duty for Aston Villa. The midfielder curls it. Well, he was neither one or the other. I mean, he definitely... Uh, Elise took it. McNeely might have been off, but it was Elise who gathered the ball. Here's the slotted pass chance for Chelsea for a fourth goal, but blazed over the bar by Zane Silcott, Dubry. Have they been coasting or cruising? towards the win. Villa have given them a game here, but they've just fallen short as the shot is dragged well wide by Harrison. Now Patterson gathers the ball. Maybe a stoppage time goal for Aston Villa. The two fullbacks doing well. Rowe and then Patterson down the left. Patterson does get the crossover and he was looking a little bit... It is indeed Katsukunya. Shots oh. and always rising <laughs> over the bar. And it's been that sort of night for Villa, hasn't it? On another evening, that would... By Elise for Dyer goes down. Maybe this will happen for Villa here with Bogard. Bogard plays the pass. The shot from Borland. What a save by Teddy Kerd. Borland first time they opened up Chelsea through the middle there. And it's been that sort of evening for Aston Villa. Borland, who's gone down, might need some treatment here, actually, the midfielder. But when he hit that, he must have thought he'd at least got Villa a consolation goal. But Kerd has been outstanding. Yeah. Show fitness levels. Oh, as the challenge comes in on uh, Caden Young and the Chelsea player is down and it's going to come through. Is there an offside? No flag. Great opportunity and it is number four deep in stoppage time. Donald McNeely makes it 4-0 as he latched onto that one, steered it past an on-rushing James Wright. So two goals in the first half, two in the second. Chelsea are going to emerge comfortable winners from this game. Villa have had great chances uh, but haven't been able to find a way past Teddy Kurd. And the sub gets in on the scoring at there, knocking it into the back of the net. And uh, uh, Donald McNeely it was to score and make it Aston Villa nil, Chelsea 4. Yeah, the official on this side deemed that there was... Uh... Yeah, there right, is the right final right whistle. Aston Villa beaten 4 0 by Chelsea. Dejuan Richards with two in the first half. David Washington with number three. And then right at the end of the game, the substitute, Donald McNeely, managed to find a way past James Wright. Villa did play some good stuff at times. They tested.